Hi, my name is Christy and I'm going to be sharing with you how to add a URL to a PDF with Google Slides. Um, it's actually free software available. So the first thing you want to do is just go to googledrive.com and if you don't already make sure you have a Google account because you will need to log in in order to use these features um, but they're very handy. So once you're all logged in you're going to go ahead and go to new and you're going to click on Google Slides and from here you'll get a couple options of the theme that you might want to have but for this one we're just going to choose the default simple theme. Go ahead and hit OK and the next thing we want to do is change the size of the actual image, um, change the size of the actual slide. So I normally stick with it 8.5 by 11 because that's the size that we generally print out. However, you can do any number of inches. You can also use pixels if that makes it easier. Like if you're making a Teachers Pay Teachers banner for your store or something like that, you might prefer to use pixels. Um, so you can see that drop down there for that. All right, so that's what it's going to look like, just a plain slide, 8.5 by 11 size. Go ahead and change the name to something that's a little bit more relevant for you. So I've got mine changed to Terms of Use. And then we're going to go ahead and insert your Terms of Use image. Now, since I'm a graphics designer, it's easier for me to create this type of thing in Photoshop. So I've already created mine in Photoshop um, and saved it as a JPEG image. But you could um, create it here right in Google Slides and just upload everything. Uh, just add in all of your links, all of your data, any pictures that you want to add, like if you're crediting another um, clip, maybe a clip artist that you want to leave credit for, you can add their logos in here. Um, so you can create everything right in Google Docs, and like I said before, Google Docs is free. It's not something you have to pay extra for to get all of these fancy features like you do with Adobe. Um, so you can see I've got my terms of use here. I'll go ahead and get that uploaded into the file. And there are two different ways that you can add a link. One is you can just add a shape in there and link to link that shape. Um, so that's that one's a little bit unique. The secondary option is you can just do a regular old text link, um, or you can um, just leave the URL and turn the URL into a link. So you do have those options. All right, so you can really choose any one of these shapes, but I'm going to go ahead and choose a rectangle because I want it to cover the top section that I have here with my logo. So just create a rectangle, covers the whole thing. Um, and then you right click and you can see there you have an option for link. You can also use control K as a keyboard shortcut if you'd like to use that. So you type in your URL that whatever you want the user to be directed to. In this case I want anyone who clicks this particular section to go to my blog. And um, there's actually a neat search function here. If you don't know the URL you can find it that way. Or you can just copy it and paste it from your browser. So then you're going to click apply and you can see the URL is right there at the bottom. And now we're going to change this square to actually make it uh, transparent. So you won't actually see the square, you'll just actually see my logo. And if you click that area, it'll take you right to my site. So that's pretty handy. You could just change the transparency of that particular shape. And the other secondary way how to do this is just with a regular old text link. So you just insert a text box. And you're going to type in your URL. So again, in this case, I want it to direct people to my blog. So I've got that typing in there. And this one is fairly easy. Um, if you hit enter, it will turn that into a URL for you. So you don't have any extra steps. Um, or if you wanted it to say something different, you could go to link. And you can go and edit that link and actually have it say, you know, visit me at my blog instead of actually seeing the www. Um, so that's a pretty handy feature. You can have it, you know, be a little bit creative with that. Um, and the next important thing is to make sure you save the file as a PDF. So you're going to go here to file and go to download as. And then make sure you click the one that says PDF. Um, so you give it a name, save it, and when you open it up, you can see that it will actually take you to whatever you typed in there. So if in this case, I've got you directed to my blog, and there's my blog. I clicked on the top, click on this blue link here at the bottom, and again, it's taking you right to my blogs. You can use it a little bit creatively. You can use different images around. Um, for example, my old terms of use had apples at the bottom, and I had it link you to um, my blog, my Facebook, and my Teachers Pay Teacher store. So whenever you clicked on one of those apples, um, they took you to that particular site in my social media network. So my hope was that it would 
get people to see some of the other things that I do um, versus just looking at this particular terms of use. Um, I hope you'd enjoy the tutorial. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll be glad to help.